Welcome to Cold Brew Chats. I'm excited to be joined today by one of our Team Infinite athletes. She made her Olympic debut at Rio in 2016. She won bronze at the 2018 FINA World Cup, and she finished the 2019 FINA World Series, ranked fifth in the three-meter springboard standing. Please help me welcome Canadian diver Pamela Ware to the show today. Welcome, Pamela. Thanks for having me. Thank you so much for being here with us. So let's get right to it today. Um, I want to know kind of your story. Where did it begin with diving? It's actually a pretty funny story. Um, <laughs> where I lived, we lived in like a, like a roundabout, and in the middle there was a park with a pool. And my sister and I, my older sister and I, would always go there with my dad. And one day he told us that if we would do like a front flip off the little diving board, he would buy us popsicles. And then if we did a backflip, he, he would bring us to Dairy Queen. I mean, what six-year-old doesn't like ice cream, right? So <laughs> we he did it, obviously, and then we got our ice cream. And then the next day we went back and one of the lifeguards was doing swimming at a pool close to our house. And she gave us the phone number for the diving club. And that's how it all started. That's how it all began. That's a cool story. <laughs> Funny how things begin. Um, so, I mean, I know you've been doing it for a long time. So what kind of keeps you you know, motivated or inspired, or is there something you, you know, what do you love so much about it? Um, my favorite part of diving is the adrenaline, the feeling of flying. Um, and I think what motivates me the most is that every time I look back on my dives, let's say like from three months ago or from two years ago, I always see an improvement. So I always make myself better. So I think that's what motivates me to keep wanting to be better. Yeah, for sure. No, that makes sense. Um, and I mean, you're, you're an Olympian. So tell us what that's like. I mean, you said you started when you were really young. So different diving off a board, you know, in your neighborhood and then on an international stage. So what, what's that experience like? It was so much fun. I wanted to go to the Olympics since I was seven. So to be able to actually go, I mean, there's not, not everyone goes. So I find myself lucky to actually have had that experience and maybe have that experience again. And honestly, it was the best experience ever. Like, I don't even know how to explain it. I just had so much fun. I, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> Do you ever get like, was it, I mean, in terms of like nerves or stress, like, was that ever different for you or you didn't even see it that way? Um, for sure. My first dive in the competition, I was nervous, but after that, like it just was and like any other competition for me. I'm not a very nervous person. I don't, really feel the nerves, I guess, but for sure that first dive I did. <laughs> yeah, no, I was just talking to one of the athletes the other day and they were saying, you know, you practice so much that when you get to that big stage, you just have to remind yourself that you're just doing the same thing. There might be a ton more people watching, but you're doing the same sport that you've been training for forever. Exactly, like a competition is a, is a competition. So, I mean, if it's the Olympics or if it's the nationals, for me, they're both competitions. So. Right. Okay, cool. Um, so let's talk a little bit about Infinite. You've got your shirt on here. Uh, so tell us about that relationship. When did that all start for you? It started probably around May of 2019. Mm -hmm. And I love it. Like, I've, I've made so many of my friends order bags just because I loved it so much. I'm like, you need to try this. I mean, the flavors are so good. It doesn't hurt my stomach. Usually other protein powders hurt my stomach and I usually use the custom blend. So my nutritionist gave me like a, a certain carbs to protein ratio for after my training and I love it. I've never turned back since. That's great. Um, so what exactly, like what products do you use in particular? Are there a certain kind of select few that you normally use? Uh, well, the custom blend, I usually just use that one. And I love the grape flavor <laughs> and the mango flavor. Those two are my favorites. And actually, yesterday I had my last scoop of cold brew, and now I'm super sad because <laughs> I don't have left. So I'm definitely going to have to order more. <laughs> <laughs> I know. That's everyone's favorite, especially in the summertime. <laughs> um, so let's talk a little bit about what's going on right now in the world. Um, how has your training kind of been impacted or what have you done to adapt to these times well we were obviously at home for three months um and i didn't really have any gym supplies at home so i borrowed from my friends <laughs> and then um the gym near 
that we train with also lent me some like weights and stuff. It was really hard at first. I would just cry for no reason. <laughs> I don't know what I don't, I don't know what was going on. I just like go to my room and cry for uh, absolutely no reason. And then after like a couple weeks, I realized that it's going to be a long time that I'm going to be stuck in my house, so I don't have a choice but to suck it up. And then I started to getting warm. Started getting warm outside, so I started doing my workouts outside. And then <laughs> <laughs> you're good. <laughs> outside, and I was getting like happier and happier and then now it's been it's our fourth week back at training now already so everything is going really well the only thing is we don't know our competition schedule we don't know if we have any competitions this year so that's the only thing that's hard going to training training not having or not knowing what's next Mm -hmm. but I mean we're having fun with it and you know doing things that I don't usually do which is Cool. cool yeah that's great. So what, um, what does training kind of look like for you right now? Whether, you know, tell us about a day or a typical week. Yeah, well, right now we have, um, well, for the last four weeks, we've been doing one water workout that's like four hours long, and then one weight session for an hour. Okay, great. We're actually allowed to now, because we we're only allowed to have like a third. 13, uh, 13 people in one group and 13 people in the other group. So we had split up our whole team in two groups, but now we're all allowed to be together. So we're allowed to all of us together and to, we're allowed to do more, uh, more hours too. So that'll be good. Right. Gotcha. And so you just mentioned that team. So do you kind of see your sport as more of a team sport or is there both kind of that team and individual aspect to it? Well, it's for sure there's a team and individual aspect because we do have synchro. So we're always, we and we have individual which you're alone in my case I only do individual so for me it's an individual sport but of mm-hmm. course we have there behind us so it's like right a little bit of both <laughs> great um so I'm sure that you your sports kind of taken you around the world so I'd love to hear you know what's your favorite competition that you've been a part of or maybe a place that you've been able to go to well obviously my favorite competition was the Olympics <laughs> <laughs> My favorite place I've been to has been either Australia or Barcelona. Mm. I think, actually, I'm going to go for Barcelona because that competition went so well. <laughs> um, so well. I, I, it was my first world championships, and I got two bronze medals. So Amazing. I would say that's pretty good. <laughs> I'd be happy with that. <laughs> Amazing. I loved it so much. So That's awesome. Great. Um, so just one last kind of question here. Um, for anyone listening, do you have any kind of tips or advice in terms of nutrition? Maybe something that you've learned along the way that's kind of helped you grow as an athlete? Uh, whew, I'm actually still struggling with that. I've struggled a lot with my nutrition. I'm working really hard on being consistent. For me, I had a lot of trouble eating breakfast. I hate taking time to eat breakfast, but I'm forcing myself. I make myself a smoothie and I drink it in my car on the way to training. So if you can, if you're like me and you're like, eating breakfast, something on the go. Is perfect. Mm-hmm. Right, for sure. And then in terms of uh, training, whether it's, uh, you know, the physical aspect of things, or I'm sure you do maybe a lot of mental training too. So any kind of advice there for somebody listening? Um, I literally just put a YouTube video on this yesterday. Um, oh, cool. <laughs> because I'm actually scared of a lot of things in my sport, but I still do. And I say every day that I'm afraid of it. Um, but just to push through all your fears, just because, I mean, they're just holding you back. So if you have all those fears and you just let it go, let it go. Um, and you're going to be able to do so much more just going like pushing through them. Right. And so do you think kind of, you know, you're talking about fears are, I'm sure it's not something that kind of goes away right away. Like you've constantly had to work at this. And like you said, you still have them. So what, you know, what are those little steps that you try to take just like in each practice or each training session? Um, well, for me, <laughs> I actually had one dive that I didn't do for 10 years, and I redid it last week. <laughs> oh. And before I did it, I started crying because I was so scared. And I just like, I just let all of the 10 years go. And I was like, you know what, just try it. Like, if something goes bad, it goes bad. If it goes good, then that's great. <laughs> and it went good. So I mean, I was very happy. I just cleared my mind and just let it go and I did it so I mean that's just great everything behind you and try again try again try again 
Right, exactly. And kind of like not being afraid to fail, right? I mean, you're never going to know. I mean, you said you didn't do it for 10 years, but you could go a lot longer. So it's just trying it, seeing where you're at with it. And then that's the only way you're going to get better at it, right?